Hi everyone, welcome to another Alternative Healing Thursday, even though it is Friday, I'm so sorry. Um, things have been absolutely chaotic for me and I know it's no excuse, um, but at least I'm getting you your lesson now. So today I wanted to talk about feng shui in, and wealth. Um, I'd like to make this a four part series. So this, this, um, this time we're gonna be talking about wealth and I'll go into a couple of other gua sections. Um, so this is going to relate to the Bagua map. And I will attach a picture for you so that you can see what the Bagua map looks like. But basically with this section, it's quite easy. So wherever your entrance is, um, because you do enter through the bottom of the map, wherever your front entrance is, um, the wealth section is always going to be the upper left part of your home. Now you might have a missing wealth section uh, depending on the shape of your house. So if anyone wants to comment in a bird's eye view drawing of their home, um, I would love to quickly help you out just to see if you even have a wealth corner. Sometimes homes are shaped a little funky and um, there's missing parts of the home. So the most auspicious home would be a perfect rectangle or perhaps even a square. But some homes are L-shaped. Some homes um, have a lot of other aspects. There's, there's uh, shotgun homes, there are split level homes, and there's a whole bunch of really, tricky things that you have to look for within your house that may be auspicious or inauspicious. So you might, again, you might not have a wealth area in your home. Um, I could talk a little bit further into the Bagua map, but for now we're going to be talking about the whole home in the wealth area. So again, this is the upper left hand corner of your home. So Wealth, it is the wealth of prosperity section. Um, it really means that, you know, it's all about your receptivity to prosperity and abundance. Um, the color of this gua is purple. Um, so it's good to have some purple in this gua. The element is wood, and I will get into that in a couple of um, minutes because I do want to talk about, because it is a wood element, it should have a strong wood element obviously within the room so that you are nurturing your wood element you're nurturing your growth you're nurturing uh the, you're nurturing your prosperity and your abundance as well so some crystals that are good to have here are amethyst cinnabar and jade um, because they all work with our prosperity or our receptivity to it um, the shape is a rectangle so it's good to have rectangular type um, photography in there, um, perhaps boxes or anything else that you can think of. And again, the element is wood. So let's expand on that. But actually, before I say that, um, let's talk about some other crystals that are really good to have in this area. Charoite, uh, Lepidolite, Sujolite, and Spirit Quartz as well. All good to have in the Wealth and Prosperity section because they all um, really amplify the message of this particular gua. So let's get into the feng shui of the wood element. So outdoors, obviously the wood element can be seen in the trees, the grass, and all things that grow. Um, so you can really basically um, put any type of fake or real plant in the section in your home as well, um, unless it's a cactus. You really don't want cacti throughout your home um, just because they give off poison arrows, which is a totally different um, topic. But wood in actual form are objects that represent expansion, growth, um, activity, just really growing, um, for example, the wood element in a human's life or any type of, of, of life cycle is when you are a child. Children rapidly grow, they rapidly change, um, but they're, they're constantly growing, right? So that is the wood element. 
Um, you can use the colors of green, um, even though I did say that the gua color is purple. That's because we're talking about the bagua map and the element of wood. So the element of wood is represented by the color um, green. So you can use this in upholstery, painting, uh, paintings, artwork, stationary pens, candles, furniture, any type of decorations. Um, this will represent the wood element. So you really do want to have that in your wealth and prosperity gua because you want it to grow, right? You want it to grow and be nurtured and be prosperous. So also anything made out of wood, such as like chairs, tables, consoles, uh, decorations, um, those will all be good in the wealth and prosperity section, um, as well as wood flooring and cabinetry. Um, also uh, shades of greens and blues that, that represent growth to you. Um, vertical blinds, rugs and carpets, pillows, draperies, uh, and fabrics such as cotton, silk, and uh, rayon. And also wood is associated with the climate of wind. So again, another beautiful thing to add in your home to represent the wealth and prosperity section would be a wind chime or a wind catcher. Um, so those are all pretty much the best things that you can do to enhance your wealth and prosperity section. Now, I do not know the feng shui of your home. Again, I don't know if you have a missing corner, if you have stairs that, that are going downward in, in your wealth and prosperity section, but um, I would encourage you to draw a bird's eye view drawing of your home. I will in the comments put an example um, and let's, let me start helping you. Um, let me start helping you out with this because I would love to see your homes. I would love to help you feng shui this aspect of your home so that you're getting the optimum chi flow in this area. Um, so I will put again examples of the, um, the drawings, but also a feng shui bagua map into the comments and I'd love this to be more of an interactive group. So I would really appreciate it if you are struggling with your wealth and prosperity section um, or even if you have a business, um, we can feng shui that too. And let's get the ball rolling and get everyone in tip top shape so that we can start attracting more abundance and prosperity. Um, I know this is quick, but these are going to be quick so that we get more of the interaction that will take a little bit longer. Um, so I will see you guys next time. Um, I think, yes, next week we will be having another alternative healing lesson. Um, and then we have for the two weeks after that, the um, end of month ceremony and the pendulum, pendulum divination night. So next week we'll be talking about love and marriage and relationships. So I would encourage you again to post in your drawing or you can DM me and I would love to help you out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.